Hi, this is Shweta from ClearTax and today I will speak about how to file income tax return on the e-filing portal. Every person who is required to file an ITR should mandatorily e-file their ITR. The option to file a paper return is only available to super senior citizen and that too in limited cases. So let us check the steps involved in e-filing your ITR on the income tax portal. As a preliminary step, you should have the details of all your income, Form 16, other income, tax deductions, tax payments, Form 26AS in hand before you proceed to file your income tax return. The first step is to log in on the e-filing portal. You can log in using your PAN and using your password. After logging in, go to the e-file tab and choose e-file income tax return. You can choose the assessment year and the type of income tax return you wish to file. For knowing which ITR you should file, visit our page on which ITR to file to help you in choosing the right ITR. Under this option, you can prepare and you can submit online ITR1 and ITR4. ITR1 is for resident individuals having income up to Rs 50 lakhs. ITR4 is for declaring presumptive income. For the ITR forms, in case you have to file ITR2 for a non-resident or in case you have to file ITR3 for income from business or profession, you need to download the ITR filing utilities. The offline utilities are available on the e-filing portal. In the next step, for filing using the offline utilities, you first need to download the Excel or the Java version by choosing the correct ITR. After downloading the Excel or the Java version, you can download a pre-filled XML from your login. In your login, under the account My tab, you can download a pre-filled XML by choosing the appropriate ITR. For example, if you are a non-resident or you have to file ITR2 for other reasons, say you are a director in a company, you need to choose ITR2 and download a pre-filled XML. Similarly, while choosing the Java utility, you need to choose the Java or Excel utility of ITR2. In the next step, you can load the pre-filled XML into the Java utility. Once you load the pre-filled XML, you can see that your personal details, the details of income such as salary or such as other income from FT interest, TDS, advance tax if you have paid if any, all will appear in the form. You should check all the details of the income and your personal information. You can also add the details of any other income, say you have income from house property or if you have income from capital gains from sale of any asset, you can add the same. You can also claim any exemptions that you wish, say capital gains exemptions or if you want to claim any deductions for further investments which are not appearing in your Form 16. The TDS and advanced tax amounts are auto populated. If you want to claim credit for any other taxes, say foreign tax credit, you can claim the same while filling the return. After filling in all the details, you can generate a preview of the return. In the preview, you can verify all the data that you have entered, the personal details, income and deduction details, and the tax payments. In case you have any balance tax payable, you should pay the same by way of a self-assessment tax, and you should enter the details for the Chalan in the ITR. This way, you will be updating the ITR. You can also add the bank details, which are necessary for the purpose of claiming refund, and the details of other bank accounts. Finally, you can verify all the data and generate a XML which is necessary for the purpose of uploading the return on the e-filing portal. Once your XML is ready, you have to log in once again using your user ID and password and you have to go to the e-filing tab, choose the assessment year and the ITR form and upload the XML file. Once you submit your ITR, do not forget to e-verify your ITR to complete the process of e-filing. That's the end of the procedure for e-filing on the income tax portal. Do like and share our videos and do not forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.